Hi, in an earlier video I showed you how to combine two large magnets with a spacer in between. Some people have wondered if it is necessary with the spacer. No, it's not. In this video I will try to explain the pros and cons of a spacer. First, for comparison, I will combine the magnets with a spacer between them. Now I will combine them without a spacer. So, it is possible, but the forces involved are much higher. Next I'll show you the difference when splitting the magnets again, first with a spacer. So easy. And now without a spacer. Not so easy. So, why does the spacer lower the force between the magnets so much? After all, it's only 2 cm of wood between the magnets. Well, the force between a single magnet and a piece of iron follows the inverse square law. If you double the distance, the force drops to a quarter. With two magnets, the force doesn't drop that fast with distance, but still quite much. Here's an illustration from KNJ Magnetics. In this example, the pull force without a spacer, zero distance, is around 285 pounds between the magnets. With a spacer only 0.8 of an inch thick, the pull force between the magnets drops to under 80 pounds, or under a third of the force without a spacer. I recommend using a spacer. <laughs>